Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike Murtis, uh, here to talk about my first impressions of the brand new uh, PS3 game that's coming out, uh, MAG. MAG right now is running in beta. Um, it actually opened up today. The download for the beta has been available for about a week, and I went ahead and downloaded it and waited for the uh, servers to open up. And uh, I figured I'd do kind of a three-part deal of my impressions of MAG. Uh, this first one being my first couple hours of play, uh, I figure I'll do one maybe on Wednesday or Thursday about my replay through the next two days, and then probably on Saturday or Sunday I'll kind of give my final impressions. Um, so to, to start out with, uh, like I said, I downloaded it, I waited for the servers to open, I had a quick chance to stop home from work today during lunch uh, to see if I could get a match going, and these servers were just absolutely crammed. Um, I guess uh, they had so many people enter it that uh, they had some server problems and a lot of people weren't able to get in. Uh, I came back this uh, afternoon from work to uh, give it another try, and of course it was still down, unfortunately. Um, so, one of these things, if uh, you haven't played a lot of betas, you've got to expect when a beta launches that there's going to be issues. I mean, I've been a part of about nine or ten different betas, and the, the launch is never smooth, or at least any of the betas I've been a part of has never, never been smooth. Um, so that was kind of expected. Uh, so later tonight around 10 p.m. Central Time, I went ahead and tried it out to see if it would work, and I was able to get into a match. Um, my general first impressions of it is MAG is a cross between Battlefield and Halo. Um, it, it feels like Battlefield in the way you're supposed to protect objectives and go and do certain things, and it feels like Halo in its uh, almost simplicity of play. Um, the sniping and kind of the environments almost remind me of a, a Halo-type uh, graphical environment. And the controls are kind of Halo-esque as well. Um, and I don't know if I'll keep that opinion as I keep on playing, but that's just kind of my first impressions again. Uh, graphically, it's not bad. Um, Player-wise, uh, right now I'm only a trainee, so I'm only allowed to go into 64 player battles. And the lag hasn't been too bad. I've encountered a little bit of glitchiness when uh, enemy characters are moving around a bit, or when enemy control players are moving around a bit. But uh, nothing too bad to the point where I would say it's unplayable. It's holding its own pretty well. Um, I'm only on one map right now, and it's kind of a defense objective, at least with the Raven team that I'm playing on, it's a defense objective, and, uh, you know, you, you have two areas that you're trying to uh, protect, and that's pretty much it. Your enemies keep respawning, coming in, you keep firing at them. Uh, I have three different kind of loadouts, regular assault loadout, kind of a heavy weapons, and then a sniper. Um, the sniping in this game is different than say Call of Duty. Call of Duty you have a little bit of a, a lead that you gotta put in front of your target or a battlefield you have a little bit of a lead you gotta shoot in your target. This you pretty much point your dot at the enemy when you're sniping and shoot and it hits. So it's uh, kind of difficult in certain areas if your enemy is really far away that you're trying to get that accurate sniper shot. Um, in games like Call of Duty and stuff, you can do that because you can kind of anticipate the lead and get those hits. In this, you really don't do that. It's more of a, you get that dot on there and you shoot, which is awesome for you know, straight uh, enemies that aren't really moving around, but hell if they're moving, because that dot is small. When the character is small, it's not easy. But uh, control is decent. I really didn't have a problem with control. Um, the commander stuff I really haven't gotten into yet, and the squad leader stuff I really haven't gotten into. I, honestly, this first few times I really didn't try with the mic. Um, my next two days I'll give it a try. But uh, overall, um, if you were to ask me, would I go out and buy this game right now? Um, I would not. I would not go out and buy this game. It hasn't impressed me enough thus far to say i got to go out and get this game. Uh, it would definitely be a rental, but not a buy yet. So... Um, if you want to try out the MAG game, you can, It's again, it's in beta format. You can download it from the PlayStation Network. It does take quite a long time to uh, download. You download the 200 meg file, and then you've got to get the patches and everything. So it does take a bit. So give yourself some time to download it before you think you can play it. Otherwise, you'll be waiting a very long time for nothing. So that was kind of my first impressions of MAG. And again, in a couple days, we'll come back, and we'll talk some more about it and see what I think. And uh, we'll go from there. Um, obviously, a lot of you are probably playing it, those who uh, use the PS3. I'm curious to see what you, what you think, what your first impressions are, and if you're going to pick it up. So um, I will talk to you guys later, and take it easy.